Hi everybody, this is Paul Malden with Transmission and Distribution Magazine, and I'm with Brittany Nottingham. She's a marketing engineer for ABB, ABB yes. for medium voltage switch gear. That's correct. For so, what is, what is medium voltage to you? Medium voltage to me, uh, distribution, industrial, uh, 515 kV, 38 kV. Um, that's that's what medium voltage means to me for ABB. What's the biggest challenge in developing medium voltage switch gear? Uh, making sure that you develop a cost-effective, safe platform for all of your customers, making sure that you're providing them with the best solution that you can without making them break the bank. Okay, but that's sort of marketing talk. <laughs> What's the real challenge in developing the technology? Well, I mean, you always have to stay ahead of the game. You have to make sure that you're providing your customers with something new and helping them solve their problems. I mean, that really is what it's all about. What would be something new? something new. Uh, well, for example, in this platform we can use our IS limiter, our current limiting device, which uh, you can have up to 130 kA worth of uh, fault current available and we can handle it within this platform here. Wow, that's a lot of current for something kind of small like this. <laughs> yeah, you must have fast switching, right? Uh, there, we do have a device like that. We don't technically use it in our switch gear, but it's, um, the IS limiter is very, very, very fast though. And, it, and it's very smart too. It'll only activate itself if it sees that it's going to be above what the breakers inside here can handle. One last question. Can it differentiate between inrush current for a motor and actual fault current? I mean, every time we sell an ISO, we do a system study just to make sure that it's going to work out okay. So yeah, I would say, yeah, it depends on your, on your settings, but. You know your job, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Paul Malden from P&D Magazine in uh, Chicago at the IEEE Conference.